atoms and molecules are constantly on the move, and the motion they have tends to be random. Got that? Good. Now, let's consider a body of fresh water adjacent to a body of sugar water. Now, imagine the partition between them magically disappears. What do you suppose happens next? Well, because the particles are moving and moving randomly, you'd expect, even without any stirring, the sugar molecules would migrate over into the fresh water. This process whereby particles move from where they are concentrated, where they spontaneously move from where they're concentrated to where they're less concentrated, is called diffusion. Diffusion explains how it is that oxygen can get into our cells. Outside the cell, the environment is rich in oxygen, thanks to the action of hemoglobin in our blood. This oxygen which is a tiny molecule, naturally diffuses through the cell membrane and into the cell, where it then also diffuses into these organelles called mitochondria. The mitochondria use this oxygen to help drive the energy-producing process of respiration, which we'll discuss later. A byproduct of respiration is carbon dioxide which diffuses out of the mitochondria, then out of the cell and into our blood to be transported to our lungs where it diffuses into our breath, which we exhale to life.